Uh, my name is Kim Hanko and I live in Cleveland Heights, Ohio. Um, I became Miss Dingus 2014 this year. Um, Dingus Day is a Polish holiday, which is always the day after Easter. Um, and Cleveland has made this popular over the last few years, thanks to DJ Kishka and a few friends. I'm DJ Kishka, and I was born to polka. I'm Andrew the Mailman. I wasn't quite born to pol polka, but uh, I'm you, polkaing now. You deliver the polka. I deliver the polka, exactly. <laughs> A little show called Polka Changed My Life Today. It's the uh, the best show, best polka show. Best polka show. In Cleveland, Ohio, on a Thursday night. Um, DJ Kishka mm -hmm. is a, a local DJ who takes on the personality of a, a middle-aged man that loves polka music and he wears a fake beard. And he's in real life, in his yeah. mid-30s maybe. Okay. So... Um, He's just really spread the word and gotten people back into the culture and enjoying polka music. Yeah. And you can't not love it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just started doing a polka happy hour 10 years ago because it was fun and I liked it. And then uh, there was no one else there at the venue that I did it at. And I just enjoyed it and had a good time. And slowly but surely people started coming around and, and uh, kind of reliving their Pasts or you know or when they grew up in their neighborhoods and such with mm -hmm. polkas and uh, it just kind of caught on and we're uh, now you said ten years and my gosh it's a lot but uh, so polka for me you know my my family's Polish we grew up at family functions dancing and mm -hmm. uh, singing songs and we kind of got away from it for a while so I uh, once I moved out of my mom's house and kind of on my own I somehow got back into it and mm -hmm. there was this show on on uh, the local station here called Polka 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 and it would always be on when I would come home from my classes at college and uh, I just started telling my mom, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so much fun, we gotta find this place. Mm -hmm. Come to find out the place was closed and these were just reruns, but um, once I heard that Kishka was doing polka music, I had to start doing it again. But yeah, we started up a, a festival, and uh, it'll be our fifth year doing this Polish festival in Cleveland called Dingus Day, and, mm -hmm. uh, and we had about twenty thousand people out last year, and it's just been just been a polka blast. Nice. And then, how did you get the idea to do the the um, festival? Uh, the festival. The festival has been going on in Buffalo for a, for a while about now. Fifty some odd years. Okay. Fifty two, I think, or fifty three. Yeah, a lot, many years, yeah. and. Uh, they get a bunch of people coming out, and I got a gig doing a festival about six years ago, and um, I went down with some friends, and after we saw just the beauty of Dingus Day, we, uh, we had to bring it here to Cleveland. It's a perfect town. It, uh -huh. Buffalo is basically like very similar to Cleveland, you know, Midwest hard workers, a lot of immigrants, Czech, Polish, Russian, I mean. You name it, they're there. Yes. And how did this go from being like three bars to 30? Just people spreading the word. Um, mm -hmm. A couple news stations got involved and started doing stories on it. The mm -hmm. uh, Cleveland Plain Dealer, the main paper here, mm -hmm. started doing some articles on it and just mm -hmm. word of mouth. And DJ Kishka does a, a polka happy hour once a month at one of the local bars. And but it's a good time, you know, you don't, it's, it's not, it doesn't have any, uh, you know, airs about the music or whatever, you just go and you enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. it's, it's what it's about. It's, it's all good, clean fun. It can not only move, it can remove. Mm -hmm. It's really, for me, it's kind of just an outlet. You have a stressful week and mm -hmm. why not go listen to some music that makes you laugh and is mm -hmm. cheesy and dance a little and have a couple of drinks nice. and meet some new friends. So yeah. it's, it's been a good couple of years that he's been doing it. Yeah. So. It, it, it's just happy and there's no, again, there's no airs about it. It's just a good time and people, eventually, whether you like it or not, it seeps into your, if you're hanging out listening to it, like, you start tapping your toe, yeah. mm -hmm. you're, like, smiling. It's just, a, it's just a positive thing, you know, mm -hmm. you don't need to have, you know, drink or do whatever. It's still just it a helps. happy, yeah, it might help, you know, <laughs> but uh, it's, just a, it's just a good time, you know. It's just good, clean fun, damn it. Yes. Yeah. People will mock polka, but once they get hooked on it, it's they will not, don't ever, they never once they do a happy hour or or go to a polka event, usually their attitude about polka is changed. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's yeah. perceived that oh, it's it's my grandparents listen to this stuff, especially from a younger crowd. But you would be surprised at the 
the resurgence of polka and people going back to their roots. Yeah. And trying to have that sense of nostalgia. I think. Yeah, yeah. It brings back memories of grandma and grandpa too, and hanging out with them and being yeah. young and going to dances and mm -hmm. and in Cleveland that's huge. I mean, it's a it, we have a huge community of, uh, of Slovenians. <laughs> yeah, Slovenians. <laughs> so. And what's the polka scene like? like you know, it's a or? it's a big age difference. You mm -hmm. you'll go to polka happy hour and people will have their toddlers there with them for a little while, all the way up to grandparents and in between. <laughs> and by the end of the night, it's all your you know late twenty, early thirty, yeah. dancing and having a good time. So yeah, so we um uh, we just we had to have the festival and we we uh, we put it on and each year it gets a little bit better and a little more uh -huh. crazy and it's a uh, it's a lot of fun. But I like to think too that Cleveland and, and, and you put out a little Cleveland twist on it. Yeah. Featuring a lot of Cleveland style, which is what obviously the word Cleveland style <laughs> being from Cleveland it would be Cleveland style, but it, yeah. for those of who don't know what Cleveland style is, it's it's the Slovenian also referred to as Slovenian polkas. Oh, okay. I mean, the huge Slovenian population yeah. in Cleveland. Actually Cleveland has the largest, I believe, Slovenian population outside of Slovenia. So, to compete to become Miss Dingus, you have to be awesome at polka. So you have to get judged on your polka skills, you have to finish lyrics to polka songs, you, um, you have to make homemade pierogies for the judges to try, have a Polish talent. My Polish talent was I made up a polka song and randomly sang it. <laughs> one, one lyric, or one uh, verse oh and a chorus. Oh, so, wow. well, there's no real obligations for being Miss Dingus except <laughs> to have fun and just spread the word of, of Dingus Day and mm -hmm. Polish tradition. So. Nice. What was your uh, verse? Oh geez. You don't have to sing it. You get, what were the words? It was, uh, or you can sing it if you want. It started off with, uh, there was this girl, she loved a polka, came to this world rocking a polka, and then it just goes rock, 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 Dingus Day polka. <laughs> That was my talent. <laughs> <laughs> right. And what do you do, you guys? You, do you do this full time, or is this? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a day job? <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. My wife and I own a vegan catering company. Oh, cool. Did you cater this? Yes. Oh, nice. It's called. What's it called? Cleveland Vegan. I can't take my beard off. I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Try. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> My name is Justin Gorski. Okay. <laughs> All right. And I love you out there in camera land. Oh. Hello. What's your name? Uh, my real name is Andrew Botop. Okay. Okay, great. Like this. Right. What to do? Hey! <laughs>